So you've been following me and been paying attention to the condo hunting. And now that I have picked my condo, finally moved in, I'm ready to share with you which condo I selected. Reading the comments, I think we're aligned. <laughs> Many of you reached out, you DM'd, you commented, and you were hoping for condo number two, which was the Versace uh, condo. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the condo I have selected. So if you were correct in announcing condo number two, which was the Modus Sukhumvit 50 condo, you are correct. So join me. I'm going to be taking you through a nice, lovely tour of Modus Sukhumvit 50. Now, whilst we're outside, before we actually get into the condo project, I thought it would be good just to start off in the garden. Now, this is a place that I like to come out when it's not too hot. I mean, I've only been here a couple of days so far, but when it's nice and cool, I like to come out and sit in the garden. I'll go grab a coffee or grab a drink, and I would start off a little morning or the evening right inside the garden. So let's take a look at the garden, right? Let me walk us back to the beginning so you can see what the garden is all about. So here we go. You come from the building, you got your water fountains, right? A whole lot of greenery, the steps, the just the decor, the, the vibe, the environment. Again, just extremely peaceful, all right? So when we're coming, you have your fountains, you got all your lush greenery, but then you can come over here and there's seating for you and your friends over there. We have some more seating over here if you wanna just spend some time in the gardens. There's a pathway that you can actually walk. You can actually take a little walk through the entire gardens, through that pathway. Again, just to enjoy some nice greenery. Coming over here, more seating area, right? More pathways and you have more seating area so that you can get some great shade. And like I said, you can spend some time with your friends, your family, just kicking and relaxing over here, or you can go over to the area over there. And if you wanna have lunch in the garden, they have tables with seats. So you can sit down and have lunch in the garden. So this is the outside gardens of Modus Sukhumvit 50. Now let's take a look at what's happening inside. So this project has three buildings. You have Tower A, you have Tower B, and then you have the very tall building, which is Tower C. So three buildings are inside of this condo project. All right. Now when we take a look right in the beginning one thing that we see right away is this is our drop-off area so anytime you order food or there's packages nobody steals your stuff but rather than wait around for the persons to come outside and collect their food the grab drivers the delivery drivers will just drop everything off right in front and then you would come downstairs and pick up your goods now let me take you over to another common area before we actually get inside the building all right this here is our laundry room so you can come downstairs do your laundry we also have a thou bin machine now what stuck out to me again as a foreigner as somebody who this is the first time being in thailand is the fact that whether you have cash or whether you have digital payments they cater to both so the washing machines and the dryers actually have an app. 
So you can download the app and you can pay for your laundry and activate the machines with an app. So rather than putting in coins, you can download the app and use the app, which I thought was, you know, great. The Thou Bin Machine. Now this is a place where you can come. Now again, all my Western folks, my Caribbean folks, the Thou Bin Machine is a place where you can come and get your coffees, your iced coffees, your milks, your teas, iced tea and hot teas, and a variety of sodas, and you also have smoothies inside of this machine as well. What really caught my attention with the machine is not just the amount of choices that you have, right? Not just the amount of choices, because like I said, you have a wide variety of coffees, teas, milks, um, sodas, and, and smoothies, right? But when you actually pay for something, so let's just say I wanted to get a caramel latte, all right? You have all of these options, so you can select hot, iced, blended, you can select your level of sweetness and whatnot. Let's just say I want it hot and I want a lid. This is what really caught my attention. I just want to show it, is the amount of payment options that you have. So prompt pay is like a, um, a payment system the government and banks use here. You also have the Tao Bin credit, so when you're accumulating credits from purchasing uh, different drinks, you're gonna rack up credit points that you could use. You could use coupons, but check this out. Look at all the different payment options and more coming soon. This vending machine has all of these various payment options, digital payment options, where you can scan the QR code, not even scan the QR code. Um, well, yeah, once you scan the QR code to make the payment, so if I select the true money, it's gonna generate a QR code. I would open up this app, scan the QR code, make the payment, and then I'd be able to get my drink. Now, I'm still in the process of setting up my digital payments, so you know we'll check that out when we, when we get to that point. But this is how the vending machines and the washing machines work with using digital tools and payment options. Now let's make our way inside the building. So this is the lobby area. There's free Wi-Fi in this section. This is one of our co-working spaces, so you can actually come down here, do some work, or just lounge around. So nice, big, modern lobby. And then you have your washrooms over here. All right, so you have your male and you have your female washrooms. But yeah, a lovely, lovely lobby area. Now, you're not getting far without a key card. So everywhere you go, you need a key card to access everything. This is our mailing area. Now, what really stuck out to me about here too is that none of these are actually locked, right? And that's because people don't steal your mail. So none of the mailbox areas are locked. You just come get your mail, but yeah, nobody steals your mail. That's just not a thing here in Thailand. So could definitely appreciate that. Let's make our way over to the elevator. That's how it got. Again, you're not going far without your key card. So this building has 25 floors. So Tower A and Tower B have 25 floors. And then the third building, Building C, has a lot more. <laughs> and this is our floor. So there's two ways to access the condo. We have a smart keypad, so you can either swipe and punch in your, your password, or you have a key card to open up. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my humble abode.
This is the Rose Kingdom. <laughs> so let's start off by looking at the fact that our smart lock, there's a smart lock, so push a button to open, push a button to close. We have a system here that allows us to connect anything Bluetooth to the condo system. So when that boots up, um, I'll show it back to you. But once my phone or my tablet or anything is connected uh, to the system, we have speakers throughout the condo, one here, another one further down. And we are now able to now play whatever media um, through the speakers inside of the condo. So this is the unit here, all right? So like I said, we can connect our devices to it and we could utilize the Bluetooth speakers throughout the condo. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is the Versace wallpaper. <laughs> so it is a lovely textured finish. I've seen people in the comments, a lot of people love it, some people hate it. To me, it gives the living area some pop. Now, this condo unit is 29 square meters, so it's a bit on the cozier side, right? And alongside the Versace wallpaper, <laughs> the landlord, you know, clearly likes Versace. So he has a Versace couch, and let me tell you, it is plush and it is comfy. Like I, I don't even care about brands like that, but the couch itself is very plush and very comfy. Um, so I, I am thoroughly enjoying the fact that again, it's just more, more, most importantly, it's comfortable. Then we have the entertainment setup. So we have here the TV. We got the TV and we also have lots and lots of storage space. So all inside here is storage. That's a storage unit down below. That's all storage inside there. And then up in here, we have the shoe closet and then more storage up above as well. And then this actually pulls out so it hides all of the cables. So again, really enjoying that. Gives the apartment a nice premium luxury and clean look. All right, that's the entertainment center. Now, one of the, the main reason why I got this place was I have, I needed a dedicated desk space, right? So as you guys know, I podcast, I do radio, I do TV, um, I'm a lecturer, I do a bunch of different things. So there's a lot of equipment that I have that has to get set up. So this was the most important part to me. When I seen this, I looked at the space of the apartment, I'm like, you know what? I would have loved to have, I would have loved for it to have been bigger, but given the fact that, like I said in the previous video, all of my choices that I came to Thailand with, the majority of them were gone and, and I needed something that I could move into immediately. This condo being the fact that it's a brand new unit, it was just finished being built. I'm the first person to ever live here. Nobody needed to move out or anything. It was available for me to move in. A lot of the other places that I were looking at, I had to wait like a two to three weeks, some even a month or more to be able to move into the con to the condo. So I was able to move into this place as soon as I left the hotel, which was the most important thing for me. So I have plugs in the back that I'm gonna be I'm gonna be cleaning up. All right, so I have some plugs in the back. Um, I could actually hide this as well with that, but don't worry. I'm gonna be cleaning up my cord so it's not looking all you know messy and stuff. Um, my roadcaster has to get set up. I have my I have storage for my books and again just more storage up above. So all of these are storage storage, right? Storage and more storage. If it's one thing, this condo has a whole lot of storage. So the desk all has storage as well. Don't worry about the suitcase being there. I'm still kind of settling in. That suitcase actually has to throw out. 
And um, yeah, I'm still settling in, right? Now let's go over to the bedroom. This is the bedroom. The bedroom, again, lots of storage, right? Everything in that, inside there is storage. Oops, got a phone call coming in. Sorry about that, folks. But anyways, yeah, so floor to ceiling storage is a big storage unit. And then also below the bed has storage as well. Now again, the, it's, oh, this, this condo unit is only 29 square meters, so it, it is a bit on the cozier side. With me being here, whether it looks like it or not, there's actually a lot of space for me. So I am perfectly fine with the space and layout of the place. Um, the only gripe that I would that I could probably say is that to get to the other side there is a narrow gap to get to the other side but usually I would just roll on that side of the bed and sit up and take a look outside one of the things that I was looking for in a place was I wanted to have a view I wanted to be up in a nice building that had a view of Bangkok and I really believe I got that. This place lights up at night. Now it's been raining all morning. It is rainy season right now here in Bangkok and I do believe that those are gonna be, uh, that's more rain looking to come, all right? I'm starting to tell the difference between what is smog <laughs> and what is the rain clouds. And right now it's looking like rain clouds. But yeah, that's the view of the city. What I do like is I have my lamp there. The, I have the lamp. I have a switch on the side of the bed. And what that does is it lights up the underneath of the bed. So it gives your room a nice little vibe. All right. Also, I have lighting here as well. So on the desk, I have lighting strips up there and i also have lighting strips up there to give me some good lighting um, when i'm on video and then i have another one where we have lighting underneath here as well so the entire condo has a nice the entire condo does have a nice vibe to it so we got lighting over here we got the lighting by the desk right up top and then below and then we have the lighting and this goes around the entire bed so you don't have to you know turn on the light or turn on the lamp you can get some nice ambient lighting by flicking the switch by the side of the bed now let me take you over to the oh and last but not least we have two aircon units one in the bedroom and one in the living room okay if you do need privacy, you can actually pull the door in and it is frosted glass. Oops. It is frosted glass. So you can pull the door in if you do need some privacy. And also, before we get into the kitchen, if you're making something and you don't want the smells to leak, you also have a door that you can pull to the kitchen as well. So let's pull this back. Now we're coming into the kitchen and bathroom area. So first things first, let's look at the bathroom. So the bathroom, again, brand new, never been used before, has every single, every single thing that you need. Minimalistic, I like it, very comfortable. So that's your sink, you got your big mirror, now, most importantly, you guys already know your household is never going to be or your bathroom is never going to be fully complete without one of these. Your handheld boudet, a.k.a. the bomb gun or the body splasher. <laughs> All right. Now, I know many of you are thinking it's Thailand. Um, we just watched a video of a snake coming up from the toilet and biting a guy in the nuts. Do you worry about that? Well, here's the good thing, and this is, this is something I actually had to ask. You don't get that in condos. It usually happens in places where there's a lot of rainforest, 
And if you have like a one level um, unit, it's easier for them to get into the waterways and come up, but they don't come up um, in condos. Too many piping, too big. They're not really around here, all right? So yeah, eased my fear quite a bit. This is our shower. So it's a bit wet because I had a shower this morning. But what I like is the fact that you can turn on your panel and you could set the temperature and everything right inside there. So I like that. You have your niche so you can put all your products and it's a good size shower. I have no complaints. Very spacious or more than enough space for me, you know, and it's spacious enough for two people to take a little shower inside, if you get me. <laughs> Now let's take a look at the kitchen. Now, because food is so cheap in Thailand, I'm not gonna be doing a whole lot of cooking, but you, you do have your two tabletop burners, and then you also have the range hood right there. What I do like about the kitchen is that tons of storage, so you have a lot of storage at the bottom, but then you also have all of the storage at the top, You've got your full size fridge here as well. And then we have the balcony. Don't mind my suitcase. I have some cleaners coming to do a little, a little internal cleaning soon. So I just put the suitcase outside whilst I was unpacking, kind of tidying up, preparing for the cleaners. But anyways, this is the balcony. A bit on the smaller side, but again, when you have so many different areas to go and lounge to in the building, then you know this is this is not too bad. Like I, I'm not I'm not fussy. So this is my view when I come out on the balcony. That's my view of Bangkok. What surprised me is that whilst I am close to the highway, once the doors are closed. The soundproofing is good. You don't hear nothing on the outside. So that kind of surprised me. But again, just really nice to, for the fact that even though you're in such a busy area, right? Because we actually have the water. I'll, I'll, I forget the name of the, the river, the Frong Kanong River. I forget the name of it, but we have the river there as well. Um, ships pass, there's, there's a docking um, station, and then we have the highway right here, and you don't hear nothing once the doors are closed. So if we look down, that's where we just were. That is the, the entire outside garden, you know, from a bird's eye view, all right, all down there. And that's Tower C. Look how far Tower C goes up. <laughs> So coming back into the condo, this is what it looks like coming in from the balcony. So again, you have your kitchen. You got your kitchen. Oh, you also have a light. So when it's outside and it's nighttime, you want a little light, you have your light right there. And it's not too bright, gives you a nice little ambiance on the balcony. So we come in from the balcony. That is your studio. That is your living room area. And your bedroom. Now, as I said, this condo is 29 square meters. And I am currently paying, I am currently paying 19,500 baht. And just so I have my mathematics Correct, I will tell you that 19,500 baht works out to be 590 US dollars. And if you are somebody who is watching this video from Trinidad, that works out to be about 3,900 TT dollars. And if you're in Jamaica, that works out to be about 94,000 Jamaican dollars. So not bad, not bad at all. But what do you think? Do you think that this luxury unit, would you pay 590 US dollars for it? Well, don't answer that just yet because we have so much more to see inside of the actual condo amenity. So I think we can leave the apartment 
and let's go get, check out the amenities. So now we're going up to the 25th floor. So we've reached the 25th floor. You get a little preview of the river. You get more of the highway views, but we're not here for that. Let's check out the amenities of Modis Sukhumvit 50. So we have two rooftop pools and as I said, we have the river that flows throughout Bangkok and goes towards the city. So we're very close to that nice little view. We have the rooftop pools. So these rooftop infinity pools give you a lovely view of Bangkok. It's just lovely to be able to come out here, relax. As we can see, we have people coming up here and meditating, getting themselves ready for the start of their day. And this pool wraps around the building. So let's go take a walk. Let's go take a walk through. So the pool wraps around, then it takes a little break because there's a break between the buildings and we're crossing over to building B. The lovely thing is that you have more seating and you have tables outside. And again, you have that view on one side. And then if you come over, you still have the Bangkok view. All the while, you can come up here, you can eat. You can do some work. I've seen a lot of people doing work inside here. All right. So that's pool one that wraps around the building. And this is the second pool. So you come over here. And what I like about this one is it's slightly different. You still have the beds and you can walk out and, you know, relax. But this is a little bit different because you actually have some seating right so you can sit down in the middle of the pool whilst taking in the views of bangkok so again this pool is more so for chilling it gets a little bit deeper on this side but then it gets a little shallow where the seats are so you can just sit down in the pool and chill out relax taking the view uh, whilst being cool okay and the other one, if you're somebody who wants to swim and, you know, get some, get some workout in, you do that as well. You also have the bathrooms up here as well. So you have your male units, right? And this one has the shower. So you have the shower, you have the toilets, you have the urinals. This is all upstairs on the 25th floor. And this is the pool area. Let me know what are your thoughts on the pool area. A lot of lounge space, lots of it, lots of it. Seats in the pool. And then again, this is the kiddie area. So you have a nice shallow area for the kids. Um, they can come in here and they can relax. And again, more seating area for you to just sit down and relax, taking the view of Bangkok. And these are the two rooftop pools and you have your views. Now we're gonna be taking the stairs and we're gonna be going up to the rooftop gardens and lounge area. So above the pools, we have an area where you can come and you can relax. 
And imagine, look how high up we are already. And building C goes up even further. So this is the rooftop garden. Now, it's rainy season right now, but what I've been told is that in the dry season, they usually have chairs and sofas lined. So you can come up here and relax. Just look at this. All right. This is all on top of the roof. And you get the breathtaking views of Bangkok. Let me know, what are your thoughts so far? We've looked at the pools, we've looked at the rooftop gardens, all right? Everything is all about the views, giving you that peace, that serenity. And to me, being here has just allowed me to relax. And any time I've even felt remotely stressed, I can just stop what I'm doing and just come upstairs and take a swim or sit in the gardens and just recalibrate. And sometimes it's not even for long. Sometimes it's been, I mean, like I said, I've only been here, um, I've only been here, I've been here less than a week, but in less than a week, just being able to come up here, go into the gardens, recalibrate, relax, I already see how much more at peace and productive I can be because of the environment that I am in, right? We take for granted the simple things like this. You're stressed out, you need, a, you need a minute, you need a break. Okay, no problem. Let's go sit in the gardens. Let's go and relax and just get ourselves together and keep it going. So we're gonna leave the rooftop gardens. Next up, we're gonna be checking out the gym. We do have a private onsen and a sauna. It's usually booked, like you have to book it in order to get access to it. If it's open, we'll take a peek. If not, I'll probably just insert uh, an old clip that I have so that you can see what that looks like. All the buildings are connected via a walkway. So we've just moved from Tower A to Tower B. Now we're coming in to Tower C. And here's a lovely view of the rooftop pools. So you have pool one over here, and then you have the longer pool on the other side. So the private onsen and spa, like I said, we get to scan the QR code and we can book it. But as of right now, it is booked and in use but you would go inside there. So I'll just include a clip of what it looks like so that you guys can see it. But let's. see it but let's move along this is your kickboxing studio now some of you might be thinking why would I want a kickboxing studio in my condo it's Thailand this is a place where Muay Thai is the national sport and people from all over the world come here to learn Muay Thai so what happens is 
now that you have a workout area where you can train, people would actually bring their trainers, the trainers would do house calls. You come up here, you set up the equipment so you have the heavy bag, you have the the speed bag, can I, can I, can I? <laughs> I've never boxed a day in my life, but you have the speed bag, you have the hurdles to jump over, you have your kicking bag, all right? Let me see what kind of kick can I give you? Can I give you guys a nice good kick? hi yeah! That was weak and that hurt. <laughs> oh boy. You have your plyometrics boxes, all right? You have some free weights, you have resistance bands, jump ropes, you got kettlebells, boxing gloves, yoga mats. You can also do yoga inside here as well. So you have all of that at your disposal. Bring your trainer, your trainer can come do some nice workouts with you. And oh yes, not only are you getting some nice workouts in, but you have the views. So what you will realize is this condo is all about the views. As with most, as with a lot of condos in, in Thailand, they have some amazing views. So I'm loving it. You work out and you get an entire view of the city. You have your weight machine so that you can weigh yourself as well and check your body fat. What else do we got? This is one of the lounge areas. So you come inside here, you have some company, you have some friends, or maybe you're having a little small meeting. You can come in here and you can lounge. And once again, you have your views. Now this condo is not filled to capacity. I'm not even sure if 50% of the condos have been taken in this place. So because it's pretty new, the condo just finished, finished being building at the end of 2021, all right? And then there's still a lot of people who have to buy the units and then renovate it, which is why my condo is brand new and I'm the first one to live in it. Um, the owner just got it and finished renovating it not too long ago, okay? So I say a lot to say, a lot of these spaces are going to be free because the building is not at capacity. So now we go up the stairs and we have another lounge area so you can come lounge you still have the view and let's see also if you want to do some work if you have a meeting you have a desk right you can conduct your meeting right here and if you've been working here all day and you want to take a little nap you have a bed where you can take and get some nap in without having to leave the workspace. Now, there's still a boxing gym downstairs, so <laughs> hopefully you're not trying to work while somebody's getting a Muay Thai or kickboxing workout in. But this is the upstairs lounge area. So let's head back down and we have some more amenities to go and check out. So Tower C has 33 floors. We're heading up to the floor that has the condo gym. And so let's check out the gym. So this is up on the 25th floor and you have some amazing panoramic views. But let me walk you through the gym. So you have the yoga studio here. So you can lay your mat, you got your bouncy balls, you can do your thing inside here. All right. You have your bikes. All right. You got your bikes, your ellipticals, but check out the view. Check out that view. So whilst you're working out, you have a lovely view of Bangkok, the river, you know, some morning inspiration or evening or nighttime inspiration. The gym is open extremely early and closes very late. 
So then we have your treadmills. So again, lovely views. Let's turn on some lights. And then when you come over in this section, this is where all of your weights are. So you got your weights, your free form, you got your, you know, you got your benches, you got your cable machines, your ab machine. You got enough inside here to do a pretty decent workout. All right. And again, you got views. No matter which part of the gym you are at, you have views. And that's the pool. Let's take a look at the rooftop pool. All right. And boy, oh boy, is it a long way down. <laughs> so that pool has an amazing view of everything happening in Bangkok. So this is your gym. This is your gym. What do you guys think? Big, spacious. The good news is that because the condos, like I told you, are not um, at capacity, you know, more often than not, you're gonna come up here and you're not going to see people here. All right? More often than not. So that is your gym. Let me know what you think. I came down to the wrong floor, but while I'm here, check this out. We actually have automatic parking. So you can drive your vehicle onto the platform. It takes your vehicle and it goes and parks it automatically. And also when you need it, it gets brought out just, just like this here. So you drop your vehicle off, it parks it automatically, and when you need it, it comes out just like that. And then you jump in and you go drive off. That is the automatic parking in the building. So they have a couple of facilities here. I think there's, I think there's two or three, all right? Drive your vehicle on and it goes and parks it for you. But we are on the ground floor. I'm gonna go up to another section of the amenities. I came off at the wrong floor, but I said, you know what? I still wanted to show the automatic parking. We also have a shuttle service. So the shuttle usually parks right there and comes every 30 minutes. It's the building shuttle and that shuttle is free and it brings you over to the grocery and also to the metro station. Um, runs every 30 minutes and it also waits for you at the metro station so that when you get off the metro, you finish grocery shopping, you jump in the, in the shuttle and it brings you back to the condo. And that service is free and it runs every 30 minutes. So just so you see what we covered so far, we checked out the two rooftop pools, we checked out the gardens on top, and we just came from building C where you had the boxing gym and right above it you had the actual gym. All right, so now we're gonna go and check out some further amenities. So here we go. So we're on another floor and we have some of our communal amenities, right? So it starts off with a lounge area. So you have a nice shaded lounge area to come and relax with your peoples. Coming inside here, our first stop is we have a co-working and meeting area. So you can book this room to work in here privately. You have a TV where you can connect up your devices. But like I said, this is a meeting area. So if you have to hold a team meeting, you can bring everybody up here and you guys can go and have your meeting, right? So you book this meeting out, this meeting area out. Then over here, you have the code dining and sky bar. So if you're somebody that wants to cook, you can come up here with your family and friends and you can cook inside here. You have a range hood and you have all of this seating area, right? You have all this seating area 
to sit down. You have the fridge, the kitchen. Ah, Saudi cup. <laughs> you have the you have a fridge in the corner, you have a sink, so you can cook for all of your guests and have a nice meal, a little party, whatever you want to do. But you can do it all right here. So you got your burners, you got your rain shed, and lots of seating. So you can privately book this out, or if you feel like your kitchen and your room is too small, remember, I just showed you my kitchen. There's a lot of bigger kitchens inside of these condos. But if you want more space to cook, come down here and book the dining area and do all of your cooking. Now I'm seeing people work inside here, but this is another co-working area. So I won't go in because people are working, but you can relax. You have spots to go and sit down and plug your computers in and you can work from inside here. All right, so one guy is working. You have another space to go and work. Another lovely lounge area. Now, let's go over to the games room. So you have the games room. Come shoot some pool. You can come and play some chess if you're into chess, right? Big windows so you have more views. Or if you wanna just come and hang out and lounge, come and hang out and lounge. So this is the games and lounge room. Also, you can connect your phone or your device to the system and you can play your music through the speakers throughout the games room. If you're somebody that has kids, you have a kid's playroom, all right? So your kid's playroom, come inside here. There's toys, carpet, and you can knock about with your kids inside of the kids room now again all of this is included in your condo you're not paying extra for it you also have a theater so let's just say you have some friends and you want to come and watch the fight or some movies you have a date you want to go on to get the big screen you can book out the room you book the room and you can come in here and you can lounge you have all of your remotes, right? All of your remotes, your keyboard to control the TV. And here is your TV. And you have surround sound throughout the entire, throughout the entire um, place. So you got your speakers, you got your subwoofer, and it's clips too, so you get some good quality, right? all your mixing boards and then like i said you got your big l-shape uh cushions or couches i should say and you got your sub speakers in the background to give you that fully immersive experience but yeah this is the theater i'm seeing some microphones too so i'm guessing this is for karaoke <laughs> but this is the theater room so what are your thoughts on the theater room, the dining area, the games room, the co-working space? And again, this is just another little pathway to get to Tower C. But yeah. So let me know, let me know. What do you think about Moda's Sukhumvit 50? Is this a place that you could see yourself living? Would you pay 590 US dollars to live in my condo? And I've seen the cheapest price for a condo in Moda Sukhumvit 50 as of right now that I've seen was 300 USD. Now all of the amenities you're getting with your rental 
of your unit, right? So you're not paying additional money for your rental. The only thing that we pay additional for is we pay additional for electricity, right? Every unit has their own meter, so you pay additional for electricity. And from what I've seen, electricity is gonna range from 10 to uh, 40 US dollars, depending on how you, how much um, AC that you use and, and whatnot, as the AC is probably gonna draw the most amount of power in your unit. You pay extra for your home internet. So my home internet got installed yesterday. I'm getting speeds of 500 megabits per second up, uh, download and upload, and I'm paying 19 US dollars for it, or 125 TT dollars. You also pay, or um, you have a water bill. So the water bill is a flat $2 US every single month uh, inside this condo. Water is really, really cheap. So you don't have anything to worry about when it comes to the water. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my condo tour of Modis Sukhumvit 50. Let me know in the comments, is this a place that you would come and live? I personally, you know what? My condo wasn't even my first choice. And I've, I've talked about this in another video. The condo market in Thailand is vicious. You could go see a unit right now, go take a, a coffee to go think it over, and then you call back and it's gone because another agent has, has uh, received a deposit and sold it whilst you were busy thinking about <laughs> picking it up. But nonetheless, even though that this unit wasn't my first choice, I, I needed something where I was able to leave the hotel and move right in without any waiting period because I knew I needed to get my internet and stuff set up and I still have to set up my studio equipment because, well, I work. <laughs> and I needed to get settled in as soon as possible, right? So I am enjoying the condo. I'm enjoying the unit itself. And like I said, I have so far been, you know, making use of the gardens. I go to the gardens every morning. I've been making use of the pool. I've been making use of the gym and starting to get back into, into working out, right? So I am using the amenities and those particular amenities I see myself using a lot. I know a lot of people say, you know, they prefer a bigger, a bigger condo that might be older, that has more living space, less amenities. The good thing is that you can pick. You know yourself, you're gonna have your preferences. If you want more living space, great. You can find tons of condos that are a bit older, that have even bigger, that have huge living spaces at extremely affordable costs and less on the amenities. Or if you're somebody where you want the latest and greatest amenities, you want to have the, the beautiful views and whatnot, you can find a lot of these condos like in Moda Sukhumvit 50 that are a bit on the cozier side. Again, mine is small at 29 square meters. Um, you do have ones that are a lot bigger, have more living space. Um, that are around the similar prices is just again when you are looking are they available at the time that you are looking and the time that you want to move in all of that is what you would um you would face when you are looking for a condo here in thailand but i am happy with with where i'm at and the good news is is that this is my first year so far everybody that i know they've they change condos every single year so i'm not even upset that i didn't get my first choice i am happy with where i'm at and I know the next time around when I'm looking for the condo for year two of me staying in, in, in Thailand, I'm going to be in a much better position to get exactly what I want at the price point I want and the neighborhood I want. I'll be in a lot better position to do that. But for now, this is amazing. So again, hope you enjoyed my condo tour of Motor Sukhumvit 50 and I will see y'all in the next one.